Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Voss, and Black Widow just reminded us all that Marvel Studios used to make movies. Big movies that we can theorize on without having our theories disproven a week later when episode two comes out. Movies with post credit scenes that confuse some folks in a flocking to nerd YouTube looking for answers. I'm stalling because spoiler warning if you have not yet seen Black Widow. Go on, go watch this movie, I'll be here waiting. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build Build a beautiful online presence and to run your business. Okay, so Black Widow follows Natasha Romanoff after siding with Team Cap in Captain America Civil War, making her a fugitive as she rejoins her former Russian spy family, including Yelena, Alexei, and Melina, now on a mission to liberate all the other widows from the mind control of Drakov in his red room, along with his assassin, Taskmaster, revealed to be <gasps> Drakov's daughter, whom Natasha thought she had let burn to death, a detail that was teased by Loki, of all people, all the way back in the first Avengers film. I got red in my ledger. I'd like to wipe it out. Can you wipe out that much red? Drakov's daughter. But after killing Drakov, destroying the Red Room, liberating a small group of widows and going their separate ways, two weeks after this, Natasha appears with shorter blonde hair and Yelena's vest, setting her up on her future that we see in Avengers Infinity War. And that leads to this movie's one post credit scene that is now taking place in the present MCU era, presumably the year 2024, after Avengers Endgame, with Yelena visiting Natasha's grave after her sacrifice in Endgame, giving up her life to get the Soul Stone on Vermeer. Yelena has a dog with her. Come on, Vanny. <sighs> Fanny being a callback to that alias Mason put on Natasha's IDs, Fanny Longbottom. Now this grave is in the Midwest, most likely their childhood town in Ohio. But then out of nowhere, appearing at Yelena's side is Valentina Allegra Contessa de Fontaine, AKA Val, Julia Louis-Dreyfus's character who appeared in episode five of the Falcon Winter Soldier. You're not supposed to be bothering me on my holiday time, Valentina. <laughs> okay. I want to raise. Oh yeah, you and me both. Believe me. You're gonna earn it. I've got your next target. Maybe you'd like a shot at the man responsible for your sister's death. Oh my God, an iPad mini? I thought Apple products were only for the good guys. Which side is everybody on? So in the comics, Valentina Allegra Contessa de Fontaine is a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent, companion to Nick Fury. She did a brief stint as Madame Hydra and was impersonated by a scroll at the start of Secret Invasion. In the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, she approached a recently discharged John Walker after his public execution of a Flag Smasher. She told him he did the right thing, that the politicians don't understand, and that she knew that he took the Super Soldier Serum, something he hadn't really told anyone else, and that Captain America's shield didn't belong to the government, but was in a quote, legal gray area. And then in the next episode, the finale, Val said things were quote, about to get weird, then suits up John Walker as US agent, completing his transition into the short-tempered Murica assassin from the comics. But based on all this, the MCU Val seems partly based on the character Victoria Hand from the comics, someone who also showed up in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. In the comics, she assisted Norman Osborn during the Dark Reign era in the oversight of a team called the Thunderbolts. That was a group of anti-hero assassins, which is actually later led by US agent John Walker. But rather than her working with Norman Osborn or even Nick Fury, who seems too busy looking for his shoes in space, I believe Val's silent partner is Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross, who appeared at the beginning and the end of Black Widow in hot pursuit of Natasha. The MCU Thunderbolts might take his name and be made of assassins with clouded morality overtaking lives, including John Walker and now Yelena Belova, since she has been working for Val for some time. By the way, based on the latest Shang-Chi trailer, I think Emil Blonsky Abomination is also part of this lineup. Additional doses of the Super Soldier Serum from the Power Broker in Madripoor, supplied by his old handler, Thaddeus Ross, maybe one of the Power Broker Sharon Carter's contacts, could have changed his appearance from the 2008 look to the greener, more comic accurate look, and maybe Val and Ross are forcing Abomination to compete in the Ten Rings fighting tournament so that they get a chance at getting their hands on that mystical tech. And we know Ross is still involved Involved with enhanced humans based on that clue in the Falcon the Winter Soldier credits that listed his name and his involvement with the Enhanced Humans Act. So as you can tell, I'm obsessed with breaking down the missable details of my favorite shows and movies. Maybe you are obsessed with mm, Groot fan art or ancient architecture recreated with tropical fruit and you need a website to share your passion with the world. Well, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and let the world see your leaning tower of papaya pizza. Squarespace lets you present members-only 
content, connect your social media accounts, present video content, and all the other cool features to give you a super cool, super functional website for your hobby or your business. You can collect the emails of fellow Pineapple Parthenon enthusiasts and send custom newsletters. Squarespace will even sell you a URL. So head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash newrockstars to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash newrockstars for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now, other members of this Thunderbolts lineup I suspect could be Zemo, currently being held in Ross's Raft Prison, and maybe even Agatha Harkness, because why not have an Avenger-hating sorceress on your team? But why are Val and Yelena targeting Hawkeye? Well, Florence Pugh was reported to join the Hawkeye cast around when Kevin Feige talked about the show last December. But other than that, no major announcement or even a trailer for the series has been released, and now it seems like Marvel has been waiting for Black Widow to come out. In this photo, Clint Barton is in his assassin attire, suggesting that this was a taken around when he was going rogue, killing criminals in Tokyo in Avengers Endgame. I am guessing that as one of the few OG Avengers left on Earth in operation, Clint Barton might not want to play ball with Val's plans, or may even be working against her recruitment of assassins, and now he knows too much and needs to be taken out. It's also possible that by target, they could just be talking about some attempts to recruit him. Don't. I just think it is odd that Val blames Clint for Natasha's death, not just because it's wrong, Natasha let herself go against Clint's wishes, but because it tells us that Val knows about the inner workings of the Avengers time heist mission, something I don't think is public knowledge based on that vague verbiage about the time heist in Cap's Smithsonian exhibit in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So we gotta wonder who Val's sources are. Did she flip someone in the Avengers? Did Bruce Banner or Peter Parker spill the beans? I get impulsive sometimes. Fine, yeah. Or does Val have some powers we don't know about? Because again, she blips up right beside Yelena seconds after a wide shot showed no one else in sight. She could be using some cloaking tech like like what we've seen Nick Fury use in the comics, specifically when he was trailing Val to figure out that she was being impersonated by a scroll, Or, go with me on this, could she have appeared from a TVA time door? And when you flip that TVA logo upside down, you get, oh my god. I know, it's a reach, I will admit. But we still don't know what Val meant by things are about to get weird, and that shield being a legal gray area, especially if you consider that old Steve might have come from a branch timeline, and on Loki, the TVA might have considered that Cap a variant who might have had to negotiate some very specific legal terms to make that in-game cameo, thus perhaps the legal gray area Val described. And if Val is possibly connected to the TVA, yes, that would be very weird. Let me know what you think of this scene and what you thought of Black Widow. Support New Rockstars by checking out our merch options, including this Loki-inspired shirt, Loki Out of Time, at NewRockstarsMerch.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at EA Voss. And if you're interested in my breakdowns of everything Marvel, be sure to subscribe to New Rockstars. We got you covered here. Thanks for watching. Bye.